concentrate on this system? How do you want to solve this system of equations? Since the x's are lined up, y's are lined up, constants are lined up, let's go ahead and use the addition or elimination method. Let's suppose I want to eliminate the y terms. If I multiply the top equation by 2 and the bottom equation by negative 3, the coefficients will be opposites of each other. So make sure you write that down. Top equation by 2, 15x times 2 is 30x, and then plus 6y times 2, that's 12y. 15 times 2 is equal to 30. Then remember we said we'd multiply the second equation by negative 3. So this term by negative 3, that's negative 30x. This term by negative 3, minus 12y. And this term times negative 3, don't forget that, I have negative 30. Now let's go ahead and add the equations. It just so happens that not only do the y's go out as planned, but the x's go out, so the left side becomes simply 0, and it just so happens that the right side becomes 0. Now remember, if all variable terms subtract out and you end up with a false statement, the system has no solution. If all variable terms subtract out and you end up with a true statement, that means that these two lines, if graphed, are actually the same line. Now, it doesn't mean that every single ordered pair that you could possibly come up with is an ordered pair solution, but it is true that any ordered pair solution of this equation is an ordered pair solution of this equation. These are dependent equations. So how can we write down the infinite number of solutions? We can say this is the set of all ordered pairs x, y, such that, then simply choose an equation. I'll choose the second equation, such that 10x plus 4y is equal to 10. Any ordered pair that is an ordered pair solution of this equation is an ordered pair solution of the system.